Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you have given us. Today, we are going to read your heavenly words. Make us understand the words which we are going to read. Be with us and guide us from the beginning till the end. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Now let us read 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 1 to 20. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show thyself unto Ahab and I will send rain unto the earth. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a severe famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, who was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. And it was so that Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, that Obadiah took an hundred prophets, and hid them by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the land, unto all fountains of water, and unto all brooks. Perhaps we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass throughout it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him. And he knew him, and fell on his face, and said, Is that you, my lord Elijah? And he answered him, I am. Go, tell thy lord, behold, Elijah is here. And he said, In what have I sinned, that thou wouldest deliver thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As the lord thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom where my lord hath not sent to seek thee. And when they said, He is not there, he took an oath of the king, kingdom and nation that they found thee not. And now, thou sayest, Go, tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And it came to pass, as soon as I am gone from thee, that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry thee where I know not. And so, when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find thee, he shall slay me. But I, thy servant, fear the Lord from my youth. Was it not told my Lord what I did when Jezebel slew the prophet of the Lord, how I bit an hundred men of the Lord's prophet by fifty in a cave, and fled them with bread and water? And now thou sayest, Go, tell thy Lord, Behold, Elijah is here, and he shall slay me. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, I will surely show thyself unto him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. And it came to pass, when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he who troubleth Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore send and Gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, four hundred and fifty, and the prophets of the idols, four hundred, who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel, and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. Amen. Now let us read the Revelation, chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for a husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and thy shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall they be any more pain, for the former things were passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is a thrust of the fountain of water of life freely. 
He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and fornicators, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is in the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, who had the seven bowls, full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come here, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God, and a light was like a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and all the gates twelve angels, and names written on the gates, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates of it, and its wall. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed twelve thousand furlongs, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall of it, and hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like clear glass. And the foundation of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, and the second sapphire, and third chalcedony the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh crystallite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophorus, the eleventh jacinth, the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each one of the gates was of the one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamp are the temple of it. And the city had no need of sun, neither of moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did light it, and the Lamp is the lamp of it. And the nation of them who was saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nation into it, and there shall in no way enter into it anything that defileth neither he that worketh abomination or make a lie, but they who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Now let us read John chapter 5 verses 1 to 15. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five approaches. In these lay a great multitude of imponent folk, of blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, and troubled the water, whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made well of whatever disease he had. And a certain man was there who had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been thus now a long time, he said unto him, Will thou, he, will thou be made well? The imponent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made well, and took up his bed, and walked. At the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him, That was 
cured it is the sabbath day it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed he answered them he that made me well the same said unto me take up thy bed and walk then asked they him what man is that who said unto these take up thy bed and walk and he that was healed knew not who was it for jesus had moved away a multitude being in that place afterward jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him behold thou art made well sin no more lest the worst thing come unto thee the man departed and told the jews that it was jesus who had made him well let us pray Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us to read your heavenly words and thank you for making us understand the words which we have read and make it a blessing for the people who are going to hear it. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God bless you.